Welcome to the indicator trailing stop video. Here in this one, we're going to check out the functionality and the features of this box right here. Uh, probably one of the most interesting part of the software for many traders because most people are using indicators. And uh, as you will see, there is plenty of options as here as well as in the sequence, but I'm going to make a separate video about the sequences. So let me give you a quick example how this thing works. Let's say I'm going to add Bollinger Bands, for example. Pretty useful standard settings. Of course, if you're not using the standard settings, you can change it here. And then you need to go ahead and click uh, expert advisor properties and then in the inputs you need to find the bollinger band settings and update them all right since we're using the defaults i don't need to change anything but let's say that i have a cell position here which i would like to manage once the price touches the lower band okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select that uh, that box here notify the software that I am working with this feature. And then I'm going to set straightforward. Just imagine you're talking to someone else. If the market price is lower or smaller than, and now I need to find Bollinger Bands lower, which is the lower band, then I would like to close the position, for example. Okay, so I'm going to click close position. I need to select an order, of course. This is 363. So I select this and then I need to say what percentage or how many lots. Let's do uh, 0.09 lots. All right, and then you just leave it and that's it. Once the price comes and touches this lower band, your position will be managed based on the settings you have selected so 0 0.09 lots will be closed and right? this is partial closing here okay that would be all thank you for watching